What's up guys and welcome to another Maker Monday. How are you guys doing today? I hope that you've had a good weekend. Uh, mine was fairly busy, uh, but also had some moments where it was relaxing. So in any case, in this video, we're going to be uh, looking at some Maker um, type stuff in these Maker Monday videos. Um, kind of turning it into kind of a weekly vlog as well, so where you guys get to see what I'm up to, as well as check out maybe some cool stuff and some new things. So with that, what I have been up to here lately, those of you that may follow me on social media, uh, Twitter definitely I post to more than anything else, so if you haven't, Check me out on Twitter. I'm at M.I. Sperry, E.E., -E, just because for some reason M.I. Sperry was taken. But anyway, uh, that's all. Uh, that's the best place to find me or at least find what's going on. I try to tweet out here and there different things that I see, different cool stuff. Um, I was going to talk about a couple of things. First off, what am I working on? Well, currently I am working on the... Uh, reviewing and testing the fire beetle as well as one of the temperature probe I got from DF robot I think last Monday I did the unboxing of it and here is the fire beetle it's basically a Arduino compatible uh, device with an ESP8266 basically on board uh, the thing that I do like about this board is the fact that it has the battery uh, jack on it. It's got basically a small JST, two pin JST connector. Uh, so you can connect up a, uh, let's say I got one over here, uh, basically a LiPo battery um, to it, like a single cell, three volt LiPo battery. And the really cool part about it is it has, I didn't notice this until I really started looking at it, it has the charging circuitry already on it. And they bring out two pins. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can get it close enough. But see those two copper pads right there? Those are basically, those are the plus and minus on the USB port. They bring that out so you can solder to it, which I think is fantastic because what that's for is then you can actually remote locate this uh, USB, this micro USB, which is exactly what I am doing. And I have gotten from Adafruit, they sell these cool little breakouts. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. These cool little breakout boards where it basically takes the micro USB port and breaks it out where you can solder to it. Fantastic little 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 device. I'll put a <coughs> excuse me, put a link down in the description to where you can get that from uh, Amazon. Because if you click on that link and you order some through there, it helps out the channel. Amazon gives me a little bit too. So anyway, check out that link. Those are really cool, really handy little devices. If you've got this placed into a place where you can't really plug the you know, maybe you want a USB connector to the outside, which I will show you. I did 3D print the case that I'm designing for this. But um, I really do like that battery feature, uh, that the charging circuitry and everything is all on board with the micro. So I think that's actually pretty cool. Only drawback of these things is apparently they're very, very easy to brick. <laughs> and how do I know that? I know that because I bricked this one. So yes, I have totally bricked this guy. He does not work anymore. You basically can lose, the, it, it can lose its brains really easily. And what it is, the bootloader, the bootloader gets weird. And don't ask me why, but it does. And I tried a method of trying to reflash it and it didn't work. So I'm gonna see if they'll send me another one. If not, I will buy another one because again, I like the concept. I like the battery thing. I've seen some of the Node MCUs, but they don't have the battery charger on, not that I know of. I, I ordered some Node uh, MCUs just to play around with, show you guys, those of you who don't know what it is, it's kind of like this. Uh, but I think it does not have the battery feature on it. It doesn't have that. So uh, anyway, so either that, if I, if I end up having to order some more, I will definitely order plenty so that we can give some away. Now, onward to the case. Got basically a cool looking little case going on here. It'll basically go into a stopper that will then go into a uh, brewing bucket or uh, pail or whatever that you have, a carboy, whatever, for uh, monitoring the temperature during fermentation. That's the idea of this. <clears throat> now, the hard part was printing that little guy. And actually, it's actually two pieces. <laughs> it's what I did. I actually made this a piece and then the case a piece. 
Reason being is because it was very, very difficult to 3D print. The support material and whatnot would just get in the way and it would just be a mess. I tried printing on its side. I even tried printing it upside down. I tried printing and just to get the features and the inlays and the, the snap fit. I don't know if you can see that, but I made it where it's basically like snap fit. Um, where the top snaps on instead of having to be screwed on. And um, to be able to get those features and that detail um, by laying it sideways, whether it could be support material in the way, it just was not working. So I made this in two different pieces. And basically it's got a hexagonal, uh, kind of like a hex head on it. And you can see inside there, there's where I've got the mounts. Let's see if you can see that. If I can get it to, okay. I've got mounts already set up for to mount that USB connector in there. So that's how I'll relocate it so that you can charge this thing. You, know, you don't want to be taking it apart to recharge it. You, know, you want to be able to just plug it in on the outside, recharge the thing, and it start working. Okay, So that's basically what I did. I even made a slot for a switch so you can turn it on and off. Okay, So I made a slot there. But basically this centerpiece just goes in and it locks. Let's see if you can hear it snap. And it snaps in. Now, the idea is, is I'll probably put a little bit of glue around that, maybe some super glue or something, and put that in. But the hexagonal shape will allow, when you're probably cranking this thing around, trying to get it into the uh, into the stopper, because the stopper is going to be kind of tough, you know, it's just rubbery to get it in there. You'd be cranking around on it, and I didn't want it to bust the glue and, f and basically free wheel, you know. And so I made that hexagonal look. And it looks perfectly, if you can see inside. It fits perfectly. And does great and that's what the uh the cord will come through <clears throat> so anyway so some cool stuff on this design this will be available on thingiverse just like the case for um i thought i had it next to me but i don't just the the case for the retro pie on the go if you guys saw that one that's actually pretty cool it's a retro pie that you can basically take with you it has a battery in it and everything to where you just plug it into a tv flip a switch and voila you have all your video games check that one out too that's on the channel any case, that's what this is going to somewhat be like. I'll release the uh, 3D model files and everything on Thingiverse so that you guys can uh, be able to download them and print them yourselves if you got a 3D printer. Also, I uh, wanted to talk about a little bit. I found one of the coolest things ever. I'll see if I can't put a picture up or something like over here or something. Ooh. Lean to the side so I can put it up. I'll put a picture up here or something. Um, is this mini quadcopter that IC Station had. I was just rolling through my uh, uh, my socials and checking out my social medias and responding to comments and all that stuff the other day and ran across, it's basically a $40 FPV, so first person view, uh, little quadricopter that's like a pocket copter. It folds up and goes into your pocket. I'm gonna buy one because I wanna see what these things are like. I already sent uh, one over to my friend Eric uh, that's at the Make Me Lab. Uh, and I wanted to see what he thought about it, but it looked pretty darn cool. Um, it's a little pocket drone, and I don't know, I figured we'd get it. It's, it can be controlled from your phone, or um, you can uh, get one of the big controllers or whatever to go with it. But uh, anyway, I, th I thought it was pretty cool, so I think I may get one. Not too expensive. That's actually pretty darn good. Only $40 for a uh, quad. So I'm going to see if I can't procure one. And if I can, I'll see if I can't get two and we'll have a giveaway. If I can't procure it, then I'll, I'll, I'll just purchase one and uh, we'll go from there. So anyway, pretty awesome. I'll put a link down in the description on that. Check that out. As well as check out the IC Station affiliate link that I have down there. Um, they have great stuff. You click on that. You can buy uh, whatever. And just for you clicking on that link, um, I get a little something back. So it helps the channel. So anyway, so that's pretty much, I believe, all I've got so far as updates currently on all this. How are we doing on time? Yeah, we're coming down to the end of it. Sorry, I don't have my watch today, so I have to watch it on the camera, and the camera's a little ways away from me. So anyway, but yeah, we got some got some stuff coming up. Um, oh, by the way, USB inspectors. Make sure I got tons of these things. Um, I've built up a few. Um, a lot of you, thank you for your support um, on these. These have been uh, selling quite well. Um, lots of people have been getting them and using them. Uh, they're basically that little device that uh, you can basically put in between so you don't have to splice out a cable and check it out and everything and tear up a perfectly good cable. You can get one of these guys, plug it in, and you can measure current, you measure voltage, you can measure the data lines, you can do all that stuff with this little guy. Very, very cheap. They're on Tindy. Uh, right now, so that's where I've got them uh, posted. So check out that link down below, and uh, yeah, pick yourself up one. They're not they're not real expensive, and uh, it helps the channel. And then these help you. And a thing that I posted the other day because I needed, I found a need for this was I uh, 
needed more power on my Raspberry Pi. My Raspberry Pi, just the charger thing that I had, just wasn't doing it. And I had given my uh, daughter or somebody, I can't remember who it was, uh, my bigger charger to charge their iPad or whatever, so I didn't have the bigger charger. And I was like, I need, I, I gotta have more power. Well, thankfully I have, thankfully I have one of these, that's the little small one to the mini. So I basically plugged this little mini guy in to my Raspberry Pi, I'll just show you real fast. And then plugged in my circuit, or my USB inspector. There we are, just like that, just like that. And then now, using the power and ground lines, I can hook up my benchtop power supply. Now, caution, don't hook it up backwards, or you'll probably torch this thing. I don't know if it has reverse voltage protection. I would think, for as much stuff, and there's a great big old diode right here, and whatnot, that it probably does. But at the same time, I don't think I would inadvertently test that. So make sure you hook it up correctly when you put your probes on this. But you can power this from your benchtop power supply using a USB inspector. So anyway, if it looks interesting, think you'll use it, go pick one up. They're off at Tendi. Not too bad. I think they're only going for about 10 bucks USD. So <clears throat> yeah, go grab yourself one. All right, guys. Well, I think we've rambled on long enough. We are past our 11-minute mark. So, guys, thank you very much for all the support. Got some new videos coming your way. I got a real cool, interesting one that I think you're all going to love that involves Raspberry Pi Zero and a camera and the outdoors. It ought to be pretty cool. And look for the Cortana video that's coming out. I will be showing you how to control the GPIO using Cortana. And that way we can somewhat... I've got, It's right over here. I can see it. I'm going to put it in the Halo helmet. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great week and you have a great Monday and hope this helped you a little bit. I know Mondays are rough. That's kind of why I build these videos. So that way you have something to watch that will hopefully brighten your day. So guys, remember to like, subscribe, share, and all that jazz. Go check out those links down below that I mentioned earlier in the video. Also, follow me on all the socials so that way you don't miss a minute of what is going on here on the channel. And guys, I will see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.